Okay, we're ready to move on to the next one. Item C, that City Council confirms consents to hiring firing of department heads. Councilwoman Myers. You kind of already talked about this a little bit. Uh, well, that could only happen, well, the problem is if we don't determine the organization of the city, the problem we have right now, now is department heads aren't brought to us. We don't know who's a department head. They just change the name of it and call it a division. When actually what the person is doing is doing more like a department head person. So, you know, there again, um, you know, unless we determine the organization of, of the city, we're not even going to know who department heads are. So, um, so I, I would say that those three, first three actually all go together in terms of trying to have uh, more accountability in terms of who's running the government Okay. Yeah, it is interesting to me. I think I brought this up a couple meetings ago. I think some of the things I said I was accused of being false on um, or saying false statements. But I will say that in our ordinances it says we shall have a director of human resources, but we don't. We have a chief, or I don't know what his title has changed a few times, I think. We don't even have a director of human resources. That person's never been brought to us for approval. And uh, that is frustrating when titles are changed so that we can have people on staff at a high level, high pay level, and they never come before council. Uh, somebody had their hand up. Councilwoman Cannon Wynn. Yes, uh, that's what I, I wanted to know, if we could get any information about how the titles have changed and uh, I know of uh, the human resources. Right. And, and I don't know of any others that have been changed, but yet they do the uh, job of a director. And so it, it's changed, at, and, and I think that even though they changed the title, our authority to approve that person should not have changed. That person still should have come to us, and just changing the name of that uh, position should not have uh, alleviated the council from confirming that that person. So I, I am concerned about that particular area. It's, it's an issue for me if if the mayor's position is just going to change the position, the title of those positions, so that they can usurp the council, then when the council is supposed to approve these positions, uh, what is our recourse into that? Because it says in the charter that we are to confirm these these positions. Yet if it's, you know, I would like to know what our recourses would be when that occurs. Right. Are we still helpless because it's not in the charter that says that we can go and require the mayor to bring that position to us? Or do we deal with it through a budgetary issue? I, I want just to know what the recourse is. Okay. Uh, Councilman Jahar? I'm, never mind, I'm good. Okay. No, I think that's a valid concern. I mean, what is our, what can we do if he doesn't do it? So, or any mayor doesn't do it. And I don't know if there's an answer to that. Any other comments on this one? Okay, let's move on to, oh, sorry, public. I'm sorry. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is John Gerald. I live at 101 Escalona Avenue, 32503. And I have listened patiently and diligently. And what I'm hearing is dissatisfaction, either being uninformed, misinformed, or just not knowing at all what to do about anything. One might say that it sounds as though I've been, and I sat on the council for 12 years, 12 years of this. And I can honestly say that the council at that time was much more informed and much more involved. I've never heard such a nightmare as I am witnessing here today. The question I would ask is who elected the mayor for those 12 years? You elect the guy, you're going to listen to him. 
I may have heard good sense coming from the general public. What do we do? And no one seems to know what to do. I can tell you what to do. This gentleman mentioned experience and knowledge. Getting someone who knows. This has been a long nightmare. And it makes you want to cough. But yet the council is tolerating it. You either know and pretend you don't know or you simply don't know. And that's not good. Where the city will end up, I have no clue. Do I miss being here? Heck no. I had 12 years of this. But it wasn't the same kind of foolishness. It was a different kind of foolishness. And as I look at it from the outside now, it's just a bunch of foolishness. Whether there is experience, whether there are, are you driving, who's driving the train? That would be my first question. Who the heck is driving this train? Do you guys have the power to do something about it? Yes, you do. Will you do anything about it? No, you will not. No, you will not. So if you're going to continue with the positions that you have now, you're going to continue to have the same kind of nonsense. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Geralds. Yes. We're talking about hiring and firing department heads. Yes. Yes. Um, James Caminante. I live in the county, 7050 Heather Oaks Drive, Pensacola. I would support your effort to hire and know about who are the department heads and not to litigate another issue, but the council needs to be able to reach into the bureaucracy and to not only look at the department heads, but to look at the processes that are in those departments and you need that information to come readily available to you. Thank you. Thank you.